Hello lovely people. My name is Kristen. I'm an aspiring horror author and welcome to this week's vlog. So it is currently December 26th and I really want to take this next week before 2023 starts to get myself in order. I have been feeling very jumbled and chaotic and just not, not ready to start this next year, probably because December is just a crazy month and is very busy, but also just my office is a disaster. My house is a disaster. I would like to start writing, but I just, I don't feel ready. And so this week I have a list of things that I would like to get done so that I can start January in 2023 on the right foot. So my main goals this week are to un christmas defy my office and my house in general um to clean everything but mostly focusing on my desk space and the places where i'm going to be writing and working and needing that mental clarity i also want to get ready for drafting i want to start drafting on january 1st and so i have my outline done um this is my second draft um as a little recap this has been four months since i've talk to you guys. Um, I'm working on the second draft of TSAH, which is a YA horror. I finished the first draft in 2022, and I've been working on getting the second draft started and just kind of re-outlining a bunch of times so that I have the plot as smooth as I can get it before I start writing again. So I finished that outline. I'm now working on my story binder or story bible um, and trying to get my character sheets um, all that backup um, background information that I need prior to drafting. It's not necessary for everybody, but I just I really like having it to refer back to because when I don't have it, I end up forgetting what I named people or forgetting elements of my story and it's just, it's a mess. So that's another main goal. And I just, I want to take this week and really get my mind right and get myself back into the headspace of writing again. So those are my main goals. And I think the, the biggest thing we need to get started with is cleaning this office because, oh my goodness. This is editing Kristen and unfortunately a bunch of my vlog clips got corrupted so I'm going to kind of just list the things that happened that uh, you missed. So I finished cleaning the office, I put all of the Christmas decorations away and put up my everyday decorations. Um, my shelves above my desk are looking very cute. I'm very happy with the way that they turned out. Um, and I will show you a tour of it now. So here is an overview of the shelf situation that I got going on. Uh, I have Halloween masks and my tattoo Cupid doll. Um, I have a crystal ball for all my crystals and my skull gumball machine that I made. Um, I also DIY'd this black Philip out of a little vintage looking sheep that I got. And, uh, Ripley wants to say hello. <laughs> I also have my Funko shelves, some Goosebump stuff, and Mr. Bones looking super fly. So after I finished the office, I started working on my story Bible. Um, I will have a video coming out on a tour of my story Bible soon. Um, so don't forget to, to click that notification bell if you want to see when that comes out. Um, anyway, so I was doing that. I was making character sheets and timelines and that is what you missed. So let's get back to the video. It is a little bit after five now and I just finished doing 
so many my eyes are crossing i've done so many character profiles i've done the main character her mom grandma sister sister's husband dad and stepmom <sighs> that was a lot <laughs> um but now that i got their main family done um i have her friend group her love interests family um and like a couple randoms i don't know if i'm gonna actually make them like full character sheets it might just be more like bullet points or like <laughs> like small lists of like just random information that i might need to know um but hi may i help you <laughs> but we'll see um for now i need to start dinner and clean a little bit and just kind of hang out because I've been doing this for a while. This is It is officially the last few hours of 2022. I cannot believe this year is over. I, this year is simultaneously like the fastest year and the longest year of my life. So much has gone on and I, I'm honestly like, I had a list of things I wanted to get done this year that just simply did not happen. But I am so proud of the growth that I've had this year. I. I really advocated for myself and put myself first and didn't get hung up on where I was failing. Failing. I had to push myself so much mentally to get in a better place with my like depression and anxiety to advocate with doctors. Oh my gosh, I had dealt I dealt with so many doctors this year um and really had to be brave and do hard things all the time and my best friend and my goddaughter who has been my biggest support system other than my husband my entire life like my best friend and i have been best friends since third grade she moved over the summer and that was just another hard thing this year was hard and I am so proud of myself for getting to the end of this year and I am set up to have such a crazy good and hard again 2023 but this next year is going to be big like I have so much planned I'm starting school again in February I am having the surgery I am doing so many things that I've just been waiting for and i'm just i'm really excited like i don't want to put so much energy into like all of the things i want to accomplish next year i just kind of want to be along for the ride and i just i have i have hopes for 2023 that it's it's going to be a big year and i i'm really excited for it <laughs> not gonna lie um, writing wise, I am so excited to start drafting. I'm waiting until tomorrow to start my draft. I finished my story binder. Um, here it is. If you want to see a walkthrough of it, this that, that video will be out next Friday. Um, but I go through all of the pages that I did. Um, 
and that's really what I worked on all freaking week um, because character profiles and like things like that it's just tedious it's fun it, it, it's tedious to do um, so that's really was my focus for this week but I'm so proud of just being able to get all the things I wanted to get done done like I, my office is clean my book is ready to start drafting and it, tomorrow's 2023 um, and it, tomorrow I have plans to go to one of my favorite nature spots and do like a new year's ritual with my mom and it's very woo woo but it, it's gonna be good um you'll see that tomorrow but um yeah I just wanted to to, to get some feelings off my chest about 2022 um yeah the next time I see y'all it'll be 2023 nine eight seven six five Happy New Year! It is officially 2023 and I am so excited. I've always loved New Year's. There's something about this kind of like fresh start feeling. Something like there's so many possibilities for what this year may have and I don't know if I'm just like a really optimistic person but I really enjoy that feeling. So I'm really excited. I always want to do something kind of significant and special, something that kind of sets the tone for the year that I want to have. So today I am meeting my mom for lunch and we are going to be writing three lists. The first list is going to be our release list. These are ideas, fears, things that are holding us back, things that we want to leave behind and let go of. The next list is our celebrations list. These are things that we did in 2022 that we're proud of, things that we are celebrating and holding with us, and we will keep this list to reference for years to come. The last list is our manifestations list. This is a list of things that we want to accomplish, things that we want to manifest into reality for the next year or the next five years, however many. And these are just things that we want to manifest, things that we want to happen. And once these lists are written, we're going to be taking one of our favorite drives up into the mountains. We're going to be tearing up our manifestations list into tiny little pieces and spreading them out into the water to be released into the universe so that they may be answered. And then we are going to be lighting our release list on fire and again, tossing it into the rushing water to release it, to leave it behind, to move forward past them. It, it all sounds very woo woo and very just, maybe a little silly but this little ritual this little exercise is really special and something that I'm really looking forward to doing with my mom it is almost four o'clock and I just got home it was a really magical day to be honest the water levels were super high because it's been raining so much here like record-breaking amounts of rain in the last couple weeks and it was just really crazy to see how much water there was in that little creek um, I have been going there um, for like five years now and it hasn't been that high in a very long time and it just kind of made our whole little ritual thing that we are doing just like a little bit more magical um to see the water moving so fast and it's so loud and yeah that was a really nice way to start the year and uh something i'll definitely be doing in the future but now it is time to start drafting i'm a little bit intimidated a little bit scared because it's been a minute since I've drafted and it always feels like that when I take a break from writing but I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not and I'm just super duper excited and let's do this almost two hours later and I just finished chapter one it came out to be about a thousand words which is on the shorter side um, but I'm not really worried about that right now I'm just kind of focusing I want to get like a chapter a day as my goal um, but yeah as as the chapter goes um, I really like how it turned out obviously it's not like a masterpiece by any means it's only the second draft but um, it's definitely better than the first draft which is you know all that I really care about and I like, I like, I like it. I like, I like what I wrote. 
which, you know, feels good. And yeah, I am feeling good. I'm going to take a break because I need to make dinner. Um, but yeah, overall, really good start to 2023. So it is a little bit later, but I think we'll be closing up the vlog now. I'm just going to be reading and hanging out for the rest of the day. But thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I had a really good time and I'm just really excited for 2023. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good shit, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!